Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. So this is a review on Rich Hurry, who is a member of the Caterpin Band in Cars 3. One of the four band members that is seen playing music in the background during the Caterpin scene. I say he plays the piano, it looks like there. Or clarified version of the piano, I'm not sure. It kind of looked like, thought, thought it was a piano, but those kind of look like guitar like stuff right there. I don't know. I don't know. The way it's set up, uh, maybe it, maybe that's not a piano. Maybe it's one of those things where you like control a tune on or something. I'm not sure. If you're Indian music, let me know. I originally thought that was a piano. Looking at this, that does not look like a piano. So let me know what the, exactly that is. Obviously, it's co connected to some speaker there. But um, yeah, do let me know what that is because it does not look like a piano like I originally thought. I was thinking for 2021, Choking Hazard. Uh, all the pities are classified as Choking Hazards and obviously some small accessories there. And another great card art here from Mattel. Uh, great expression there on a rich. Um, and that's a great expression on the die cast there as well. On the back here, you've got the choking hazard stuff on the back as well. And then Ducky Fontley Roy, who I will be doing a review on, on the back here and some other die casts. Uh, so another cars that have been on the back of like literally every car I've reviewed recently. Which is interesting. But um, again, you can see the color doesn't really match up really light mint color here on rich on the die cast on the card more of a like blue gray kind of color so another weird mix up there um, i'm gonna assume this is more accurate to the movie but I'll go to, we'll see when i put the pictures up later but i'm gonna assume that that is more accurate so, so here is rich out of the package we've got his little stand music stand there we've got rich himself and we've got this um, speaker thing here and uh, you might recognize this speaker that is because we've already seen this speaker before with Robert Jam Jones um, it's the same exact um, like type of speaker but it is quite smaller the one on the left is from Robert the one on the right is here from Rich um, so kind of interesting that it's quite a bit smaller but it's like the same design and whatnot so that's, that's interesting that they decided to make it smaller. I'm not sure if it was actually smaller in the movie. Or they just figured that they're already giving us this thing. That we don't need such a big speaker thing. I don't know. But it is quite interesting that it is quite a bit smaller. Again, I'm not sure if that is movie accurate or not. Or if you could even see in the movie and compare the sides between the two. But here's this thing. Again, thought was a piano. Is not a piano, apparently. Um, looks like you could like, like control the music, the volume, or the tune coming out of the speaker. Um, so obviously you'd have this, you'd be like controlling the tune and then it'd come out of the speaker. So I guess, I'm going to guess that's what that is just based on like the way he's, his forks are positioned over it and kind of the things that are on here, the way it looks, when you, you probably slide that across. Um, again, I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comments if you know exactly what this is, but, uh, again, it's plastic, but it looks like, a, it looks wooden with the uh, decal here or um i guess that's paint actually i'm not sure but the way it's textured nicely and it does look like wood even though it is plastic um so that's pretty cool right there nice little accessory to go with your beatbox and here is rich hurry himself looks very very nice obviously just a classic pity no team no racing no whatever just a, just a generic pity um uh, nice mint color again i don't know i don't think this is really movie accurate but it is a nice color nonetheless Really love the expression on him there. Um, the forks are a little bit off-centered, you can see. Looking at him straight on, you can see how the forks are a little bit off-centered. Looks like that's on purpose, the way they're bent there. Um, it does appear that that is on purpose. Um, again, really love that expression there. You've got the brown eyes. He's smiling, relaxed, happy, calm. Uh, great expression there. Forks right there. And you can see that most pities... Um, Right here, you can see how most pitties have this little thing, that this plastic thing that attaches them to the base. Uh, their forks attached to the base of the uh, die casts themselves. This rich here does not. I think this is the first time it, I've seen it like this, where the only thing attaching the forks to the pity are these little, like, right there. That, that part is attaching it. That plastic part from the forks itself is attaching it into the molded part right there. And there's no little barrier right there there and a little plastic thing that's attaching the bottom of the forks to the bottom of the pity so you can actually see the bottom of the uh die cast pity um obviously here this this part is not attached to this part this part of the die cast right here is not attached 
to this part of the fork. Um, but it's done differently here. So and that's the first time I've seen it done like that. Never seen it not have a little like plastic thing right there attaching the forks to the very, very bottom of the die cast. Pretty, so that's pretty cool. That's a nice little thing. I've never seen it like that. Obviously, you've got the minty wheels right there. All just this nice teal mint color around. And he's got a nice brown cap. Um, and in the original, original like images of the uh, prototype of Rich Hurry, there was a number 93 right there on the cap. Um, obviously, it has been removed for the die cast release. Um, again, I we never really see a roof shot of him in the movie. You've never, we can't, I can't confirm if that 93 was there in the movie or not. Um, and... If it wasn't ever in the movie, I'm not sure why it was on the prototype to begin with. Um, if it was in the movie, I'm not sure why it got removed. So I can't really explain that. Um, I'm going to guess that maybe someone uh, maybe thought this was a different character. Maybe the original Rich Hurry and the original uh, renderings of Cars 3 had a 93 on the roof. And then for the release, uh, the film release, it was removed for the uh, actual release of Cars 3. But the Mattel had already made renderings for rich hurry at that point and uh, couldn't update them um by the time those prototypes got revealed again that's a little weird because uh rich hurry was revealed like three four years down the road from the release of cars 3 so not exactly sure uh how that happens that three years down the road you can't fix your renderings i don't know um uh, but the point is that um he had 93 on the prototype it doesn't have 93 on the release and i'm not i can't tell you why um so yeah very very nice pity uh, Rich Hurry is very nice. Color is very nice. Um, the brown as well works very nice with the teal here. Very nice expression. Love the forks. Maybe one of my favorite pities ever, to be honest. Just just Rich Hurry himself, no accessory. This he may be one of my favorites. Uh, favorite pities ever, even though he's you know quite plain. Uh, let's see, we'll compare him to kind of what he's based on. This Piston Cup Tall Pity here. Um, it's kind of the basis for most pities. Um... But you can see how he's quite a bit shorter. Quite a bit shorter than um, the Piston Cup Pity. The Cars Run Piston Cup Pity. And is also quite a bit skinnier. And quite a bit smaller just himself than the Piston Cup Pities. See so yeah, how the forks are different. Um, so that's kind of what Pities are based off nowadays. Or off uh, the Cars Run like Tall Piston Cup Pities. Um, comparing him to some other members of his band, you've got Sweet Teeth, obviously quite a bit of a different pity than Rich Hurry himself here. Obviously, she's got like four wheels as well, but like a curved, kind of a curved body, whereas Rich has just, you know, a boxy body, so quite a bit different. Um, but so two very, very nice pities here. And then you've got Robert Jam Jones, who's actually quite similar to rich but uh, again is a little different he's a little shorter than rich here you can see he's a little shorter i think they're about the same length um actually and I'm, I'm he may be a little long, longer robert jam jones that is but he is uh quite a bit shorter you can see there so that's nice that there's varieties in the pities that they don't just repaint you know don't just repaint the same three pities again i'm not sure how pam uh wheel the barrel will be but Good that they did just repaint Robert Jam Jones into Rich Hurry and just call it a day. Actually, there's difference between the pities. And obviously, Robert is carrying his guitar, so he looks pretty cool there. Um, so, yeah, not much, to, not much else to go over here. 21st week of 2021. A nice teal base there for the Rich. And kind of set this up earlier, but this is how he looks with all his accessories. The, uh, the forks don't quite touch the... The, the little instrument thing he has here. They don't quite touch it. They just kind of hover over it. Um, kind of how it's in the corner. They're just kind of hovering over the instrument there. So they don't quite touch it. Kind of just sit there. And then you've got his little boombox thing here as well. So I'll put up a picture of where Rich appeared in the movie. Obviously quite a split second there. He appeared in the background where Sweet T was singing. And he was playing the, his instrument. So um, probably the same image I, I used for Robert James Jones and same image I'll use from Pam Wigglebarrow, but that's where he appeared in the movie. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Um, happy Friday, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.